Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us for another segment. In this segment, we're going to be speaking with returning guest, Dr. Neil Jane. He's joining us to talk about asthma, severe asthma, and a bit about AstraZeneca and Amgen's Tespire, the newest FDA-approved biologic for severe asthma. He's joined this morning by Melody. Melody's a, a patient who's going to share a bit of her experience with severe asthma. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, both Dr. Jane and Melody. Thank you both for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, uh, Dr. Jane, for those who are not familiar with you as a contributor, give us a little bit of your professional background briefly, if you would. Sure. So I'm Dr. Neil Jane. I'm an allergist immunologist in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, background in, in research in severe asthma, as well as a variety of other conditions. I've been in practice for about the last 20 years or so now and, and have an interest in in, in helping to care for patients with um, diseases like asthma and severe asthma. And Melody, a little bit about yourself, if you would. Hi, thank you for having me. Um, well, I am. I was diagnosed when I was 14 years old, and um, at that time, it was pretty pretty mild. I just had to take an inhaler, and and that was pretty much it. <laughs> it wasn't until my 20s that severe asthma hit, and. Um, since then, I've been in the ICU over 60 times. I've been intubated. It's definitely a big life-changing experience with severe asthma. My husband and I have had to move states. I've had to change jobs, in and out of the hospital a lot, on a lot of medications. And But through it all, I try to remain positive and just celebrate the small victories of life. Uh, Dr. Melody mentioned severe asthma. I'm familiar with asthma, as I'm sure most of our listeners are. Is there severe asthma? Asthma, is there a difference? I thought asthma was severe in and of itself. Right. So, I mean, I think, you know, asthma is somewhat a con can be a confusing condition for many. And, and, you know, we may all know someone or personally experience asthma symptoms um, from time to time that require, you know, um, the use of an inhaler or something like albuterol, which is, is what we call a rescue medication. But people with severe asthma, you know, they have symptoms that, you know, not only can be more severe um, where they have cough or wheeze or shortness of breath, but their symptoms can uh, be frequent. Um, they can sometimes be continual. They can wake them up at night, even when they're taking medications that they um, are using to, to pr try to prevent those symptoms, medications called inhaled steroids that are meant to be taken every day. Um, despite taking those every day and sometimes taking them at very high doses, they'll continue to experience these symptoms um, and they may continue to have uh, what are known as asthma exacerbations, um, what many call asthma attacks despite taking those medications. And when they have those asthma exacerbations, those can lead to them being in the hospital. They can lead to urgent care, emergency room visits. They can lead to the use of prednisone, which we know can have a lot of negative effects. Um, and so steroids like prednisone can, can cause all kinds of side effects and, and problems. And, and so we don't want to take those too frequently. And, and, and that's really you know, been the issue with severe asthma. Unfortunately, about 1.3 million Americans suffer or have um, severe asthma, and, and that can be really a challenge for them. Melody, were your hospitalizations due to some of these severe side effects that Neil is talking about, or was it your asthma itself? Um, it was my asthma mm -hmm. that caused the hospitalizations. Mm -hmm. Did you experience any of these any of these side effects? Oh goodness, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm on um, I'm pretty much steroid dependent, so um, side effects. You know, I've broken a few bones in my feet because mm -hmm. prednisone makes. You know, so definitely a lot of side effects I have experienced, for sure. Obviously, there have been lots of work being done. We're going to talk about a, a newly FDA-approved biologic for uh, severe asthma, such as yours, Melody. Uh, doctor, can you tell us uh, about this new treatment and what it means for this community? Sure. So, you know, as as we've talked about, you know, We've, we've learned a lot about asthma and severe asthma over the last um, two to three decades, and, and there is a class of medications called biologics, which many people may be aware of and some are not aware of. These are different than, you know, sort of inhaler medications or pills that, um, you know, people might take for control of their asthma. These are typically injectable medications um, that are, are given and, and taken 
um, and they target specific pathways that are overactive in the lungs or in, in our immune system. And in doing so, um, they can control um, or help to control um, asthma, uh, the condition of severe asthma. And, and so there is a medication that's, that's newly available called Tezfire or Tezapelumab Echo that targets a, a protein that's overproduced in our, our airway called TSLP. And, and by blocking that protein, we believe that, um, you know, you can have improvement in your asthma. Um, and so this, this medication um, has been shown to reduce symptoms of asthma, to improve lung function, and to reduce uh, those exacerbations or those asthma attacks and the need for prednisone and steroids, um, which, which can be very beneficial. Do they come from uh, the process of breathing or are they produced in the tissue? If you think about it, it you know, when we, asthma affects our airways, our breathing tubes in our lungs, and, and those breathing tubes have a lining. And, and that lining is sort of a barrier to the outside world, but it's also a sensor to the outside world. And so when we're exposed to things, whether it be a virus or an allergen or pollution or cigarette smoke, you know, and sometimes we don't even know cold air, um, all of those things can cause um, those that barrier and that sensor to be um, sort of turned on and, and alarmed. And so this protein called TSLP is produced in excess in people that have um, asthma and in particularly severe asthma. So this newer medication, Tezfire, um, blocks that protein. You know, and and it's been shown, as I mentioned, uh, to have an improvement in um, not only lung function and symptoms, but in um, you know reduction in exacerbations of the need for steroids. As with any medication, um, there can be side effects, and so we need to be aware of those side effects, um, which can include aller include allergic reactions. And it really should be sort of a decision and, and something that's done in consultation with your healthcare specialist, hopefully your severe asthma specialist. Uh, that being said, Melody, what advice can you provide for folks who uh, uh, may be living with severe asthma or have been recently diagnosed and uh, maybe looking for some support and advice? Um, I would say definitely make sure you get with a good asthma specialist that you work well with. Um, get a good asthma support group. For me, I belong to a group on Facebook, and they've been a lifeline for me. They they understand asthma um, just in a more deeper, intimate way and know all the struggles. And so having them has been wonderful. Um, make sure you're getting plenty of rest, you're exercising, you're eating healthy, following your asthma action plan, um, just embracing life and enjoying the small victories of life and always staying positive. Well, Neil, where can our listeners go and learn some more about Tezspire and severe asthma? Sure. So there is a website, www.tezspire.com, and, and you can learn more about um, Tezspire, the medication, but it's, you can also learn more about severe asthma in general. Always a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much for joining us, Melody. Um, hopefully we can all uh, sit down and have another conversation as uh, treatment options advance. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks so much, Neil. Thank you so much. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Dr. Neil Jane and Melody. We've been discussing severe asthma and AstraZeneca and Amgen's Tezspire. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.